What up, what up? We're here with the Slow Pitch Bat Bros, and today, folks, we have the new U Triple SA 240 stamp worth watermelon. They brought it back for 2022. Let's get it. All right, folks, here's a closer look at the very good looking worth legit watermelon XL reload. So that means a half ounce unload and actually a very unique bat. We're giving this bat its own review video because it's the first ever 12 and three quarter inch worth barrel we've seen. Here we have the Mikan DC 41 Supermax, which is a 12 and a quarter inch barrel. And you can very clearly see that's like actually a different barrel size on the worth. So kind of more like a 13 inch barrel on a worth, which is something we haven't seen it's always been basically 12 or 14 right so very excited to swing this and after swinging those dc 41s we basically kind of realized that with worth and mikan's merger with easton we kind of have like a new second generation of mikan worth 240 bats here good hot barrels no durability concerns and uh very very excited about these new mikan worth bats that long barrel dc 41 that 14 inch barrel full ounce unload was the best mikan and worth u trip 240 bat we have swung this year all right so i'm guessing this is going to be right at about 275 280 here that blue line is 240 psi pass fail and we are at yep 280 285 i'm assuming this is just going to be a different weighting and barrel length variation of those new kind of dc 41 type of bats here so uh really good high compression out of the wrapper let's try it out all right we've got a mixed bag today we have uh 52 core evil bp 52 pluses uh 44 core dudley thunder zn pro m balls and a 47 core evil bp rocket here oh boy that felt pretty good. All right. So right off the bat, it doesn't have that really heavy kind of Josh Riley Freak 9R type of end load that the DC-41 short barrel had. Good standard half ounce weighting here. Kind of the weighting's more like the Freak 23 if you swung that. Just gotta find it. Oh boy. Swing numero dos. Dude, I like it. It sounds really good. This doesn't feel as much like a short barrel. Okay. Like this is technically the short barrel version of the watermelon, but definitely a more versatile bat. Knuckleball. Nice ball. Hammered that. Dude. Wow. This is good. I really like this bat. Dude, that's such a good sound, man. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> it's good. Immediately, it's good. Ooh. That felt good. The weighting is more on a long barrel side? Yeah. It's not that, like, really pronounced end load. No, uh-uh. This bat's gonna be so popular. Anyone could use this. Yeah. It kind of acts like a short barrel, yeah. but it's not, like, restricting in a way a short barrel is. Like, it feels like it can be for any kind of swing. The weighting's super moderate. And the barrel's like forgiving, the sound is awesome, the feel's great. Like that, that's loud, bro. Like just the that 12 point, that bigger, I guess this is just kind of like an elongated Mike and Worth short barrel. Right. Great move. Feels excellent. There it is, and I missed it. <laughs> Still might go though. Come on. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I love this, dude. Wow. It, I love it. There it is. Wow. Oh my gosh, that is, dude, that is a 
bomb. Since that Easton merger, these are fire. Brawn balls were not flying like that last year. Oh man, that's what I'm saying. Like that's good. Yeah, that's really good. Oh. Uh, yes. All right, Worth. Mike and Worth Easton, whoever's listening, make like a thousand repaints of this. Just keep making this 12 and three quarter inch barrel, half ounce end load. I love that, bro. Let, let's see, mate, okay. I want to know if you like this better than the long barrel DC-41. Okay. Take a few with each. All right. <laughs> I don't know, bro. <laughs> you swing that one real good. <laughs> you swing that one so good. It's bro. so good. <laughs> it's so good. Look how far that ball went. Oh, those are both okay. All right. Maybe I just had to find it. I mean, it jumped off the mic. Yeah. So far. Oh, that's a missile. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I think this one has maybe just a little bit more pop than that one. Uh -huh. um, but as free swinging as I am, I can find the good spot on this bat a lot more than I can on that bat. This just swings so good. I like, yeah, it's this. I think this is it, bro. This is the, that's so good. And if you like a shorter barrel, but you don't like the kind of severe end load of the DC-41, that watermelon's freaking primo, but I think this is our guy. For a Mike and Worth, this thing's money. This is the best short barrel I've swung. I would call this more of a short barrel than a long barrel. This is the best Mike and Worth short barrel I've swung, but overall, all Mike and Worth bats, this is my guy. All right, moment of truth here. Uh, we have a good 100 swings on this guy. Started at 285 compression. I really think this will pass. Uh, that blue line is pass fail. And we're at 270. Awesome, just excellent. Mike and Worth figured their stuff out. Their 240s are excellent. I don't see any way these don't make the top five, but we will do some exit velo testing. Maybe they just get dusted in exit velo testing, but uh, let's go try them out. All right, folks, time for some exit velo testing here with the Worth Watermelon. Freaking love this bat. Uh, we're actually gonna try it against the DC-41 short barrel though. Basically, let's just see with this new kind of wave of Mike and Worth 240 bats since they merged with Easton, what's their current best short barrel between these two. So uh, really similar compression, like 270, 275 PSI. We've got all uh, evil BP rockets here. It's a 47 core softball, but a bit higher compression. I think they hit very similar to a pro M here, so let's get it. Okay, we'll start off with the short barrel Mike in DC 41 right here. The Freak 23 and the Freak 9R were really freaking hot bats. I don't think either of them held compression very well and they both like were cracking kind of a lot. Maybe not like a full break, but they were, there was like a spiral crack happening around the barrel. These seem to be much more high quality durable bats that are gonna also hold their compression a lot better. <laughs> Smashed, 98.3, it's not that good. It's heavy, dude. 99.8, that's better. There we go, 100.2. 99.2, all right. Right at about 9,900 there. All right, now we got the Worth Watermelon. Oh yeah. That's just a little bit too much end load for me, honestly. Like, that, feel, that feels way more end loaded than the long barrel DC. This bat's hot, bro. All right, come on, watermelon, 103, let's go. Da! All right. Uh, that is the best Mike and Worth short barrel I've swung in their 240 era. That thing's awesome. All right, there you have it, folks. 
very excellent bat. My favorite Mike and Worth uh, shorter barrel model. I think that 12.75 inch barrel is just uh, excellent, excellent work by them. And that small knob just really, really helps out. So we appreciate you guys hanging out today. If you liked the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel. We'll put a link down below where you can check this bat out. And you can also head over to slowpitchbatbros.com.cr. Always uh, being updated top three U Triple SA 240 and ASA bats. We also have our merch over there as well, like hoodies and hats. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out.